Okay, Jim Finch here. So, let me just tell y'all just a little bit about what I've witnessed with my mama being home this past week. Now, she's a teacher and she's also a therapist, but she's still had quite a bit of anxiety. It's been interesting. She's easily, um, like, flustered, especially when she's looking through her supplies and she can't find any Lysol. There's no Lysol anywhere. And she's tried to order it from every single app. There's no Lysol. So what she did to comfort herself was to make her own disinfectant. And she did that by adding three parts alcohol and one part um, um, peroxide. Now, she can spray that from a spray bottle onto things and disinfect it. So she's been a little bit odd and kind of off. She has days where she watches too much news and then she gets panicked. And so it's hard for me to get any attention from her. And I just want to play and I want to be rubbed. My belly needs to be rubbed regularly. And then other days she feels really strong, like with a lot of hope. And then she looks in her fridge and she sees all that cold brew coffee that she's stocked up on and all that half and half cream. And she believes she's going to make it through the next several weeks. So she fluctuates is what I'm saying. Now, that's her own personal experience. What she's been learning about the global part of it, all the deaths in Italy, it's really hard for me and for my sister Scout to watch her cry or be upset about what she's learning about how much people are hurting and how um, fast this virus is spreading. You know, she only lives with us, so she doesn't really get to see anyone else. And her love language is physical affection. So we do all the physical affection with her we can. We like snuggle up, we headbutt her, we remind her that we're here, we sleep right on top of her. Anyway, all that to say that this is just one tiny, tiny example of how you might document your experience. I just documented what I've been witnessing of my mama who happens to be your teacher, but I just wanted to let you know that. So it's not so hard. This part is just about the personal experience. And then soon I'll be reporting on what she's learning in terms of the research as well. Okay. All right, I hope that helps some y'all. If you have any questions, just ask Scout or me.